These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Bruce uh, via Wiser Now. Yesterday, we got some information from some of our best sources that indicated that we would have notifications within a period within this morning all the way to Thursday morning. It looks as though this will occur for us to get notified by Thursday morning. We believe for sure that redemption centers will be staffed from Thursday on for about two weeks. We're just looking so strong right now. I'm very excited about where we stand. We're just so close. All right, Militia Man says JP Morgan, one of the largest banking entities on the planet worth about $4 trillion, didn't come into Iraq to do a business in a quagmire. They came to do business in a functioning government with a three-year budget. That's what got them motivated to come in and do international trade. It's amazing, and it's a key sign that things are happening. So all the folks out there seem to think that there's no such thing as a reinstatement of the Iraqi dinar or no revolution in the future are highly mistaken. All right, Frank26, I gave you a formula. Kurds each equals HCL equals RI. That's it. Are the Kurds happy? They sure are. All right, Paulette says the budget is not law yet, usually at least 7 to 10 days to be approved and signed by the president, and then 3 days gazette posting. The period of time after the president signs the budget, likely uh, next Thursday on the 22nd, and prior to the 3 day posting in the gazette, likely the following Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 25th to 27th, is a beautiful window. All right, Game of Patience community comment. The CBI changes the rate, not the HOR. Um, Game of Patience says Iraq's budget is calculated off the currency value. So it's actually a coordinated effort between CBI and GOI. If the rate were to change, it requires the House of Reps to amend budget changing its figures slash calculations. Caperoni says Iraq truly cannot become the economy they want until they have created the conditions. This takes work. The passing of the budget to be some significant event for an RV. Not true. Monetary policy is not a random act. Until Iraq diversifies their economy, begins to have significant improvement in their GDP, nothing will happen with the dinar. All right, Walking Stick via Frank26 says, We've told you many times there's an announcement on new Iraqi ATMs to the citizens basically saying, Hey, look, these ATMs right now are closed, but coming soon, you to you, the Iraqi citizens will be open to you. They are not activated. They are not turned on as of right now. And Frank26 says, everybody, everyone, all the banks around the world, they're not stupid. They're not throwing their money in a bottomless pit. They're throwing it in a country that is about to have a monetary reform explosion. And you're seeing the shadow of the monetary reform explosion. You know what that shadow is? The economic reform. The shadow of the economic reform is growing so big. That's why you should feel good, even with a recession looming over Iraq. The United States of America, there is a rescue. All right, lastly, Mark Z via PDK, the reports coming out of Iraq, the official rate is around 1310. So a US dollar officially will buy 1310 dinar. Well, that was true a few days ago. In the parallel market today, um, and what they're seeing in the streets is a rate of 1050. So one US dollar will only buy 1050 dinar. This is an enormous news coming from several regions in Iraq. This means it is stabilizing and correcting itself quickly. How the CBI responds to this will be interesting. That is almost a 10-time change in value in three days. That is stunning progress out of Iraq.